So here they come. Any moment now, they're making us wait. The schedule is, once we've had this presentation, it will be Super Bowl followed by the European Cup, the first junior final, and then the first prestige final of the night. I was chatting with Lee Evanson, Billy Bolt's right-hand man earlier this afternoon. He says his man is really going well on this track so far, really enjoying it. And as I mentioned earlier, he will be determined to take a point advantage into the final round in Poland. He led in the opener in Krakow, but then he lost the red plate to Tadej Blazuzak, of course, in Germany but then won it back and overturned a 16-point advantage. I'm pausing because I'm waiting for the first fighter to arrive, but yeah, he turned, overturned that advantage, and now there's just six points between them coming into this round here. What will the picture look like tonight? Well, they're taking their time. I think we were about to have Xavi Leon Soleil arrive into the... There he is on your screens now. Here we go. into the arena, Xavi Leon Soleil on the Husqvarna from Spain. He sits 11th in the championship standings. So Xavi Leon receiving warm applause, and then next it's coming is the Portuguese rider on the only Yamaha on the 14 bike grid. Diogo Vieira of Portugal, 13th overall coming into this round in uh, Hungary. But Diogo Vieira looking to make an impact here in Budapest this evening. Two down, seven to go. And next, it's the junior world champion he stepped up to prestige this year. He's put in some great Super Bowl performances. We're waiting for him to translate that in the three races. And it's Will Hall of Great Britain on the KTM. Currently ninth overall. And he is certainly one to watch in the future. He's had his moments so far this season. Will he be added then to... Next, it's the German rider on a Husqvarna. Seventh overall, and it's Kevin Gallas. Again, they all like coming in on the back wheel. So Kevin Gallas into the arena. He too has had his moments, and he can also put in a performance to run with the riders at the front. We've not really seen it this season from him. Certainly, he's shown a lot more than he did, or oh, certainly last year. So now we're coming up to another Spaniard, another Husqvarna. It's the man in sixth place overall. Despite what the stadium announcer saying he's from Italy, he's actually from Spain. It's Paul Tarras. Had a few little niggling injuries to overcome this year. I don't think we've really seen the best of him. We might just see that from him tonight. So Paul Torres, sixth overall. And he is followed into the arena by the man who is just ahead of him in the championship standings. The best of the non-factory riders in this championship. Fifth overall from South Africa. It's Blake Goodsight. 
Again on the Husqvarna, keeping the front wheel firmly on the ground as he comes into the arena. Now, here we go. Oh, just a little wheelie. So Blake Gutsight, again, another who can put in performances. So we move on to the factory riders. And next is a veteran of Super Enduro. He too has had his injury problems. Coming into the arena on his Husqvarna 300cc two-stroke. Fourth in the overall standings, Alfredo Freddy Gomez. And I think that's the biggest wheelie we've seen so far. So Alfredo Gomez yet to win a race this year. He's got a few under his belt in previous campaigns. And now we come to the man who's third in the overall standings, back in Super Enduro. Another previous race winner yet to take a victory in this year's campaign. But it's Johnny Walker on the KTM. Great to see him back in Super Enduro. He's had his misfortunes this season, luck's not gone his way, but we did see a great performance from him in La Coruña in Spain, where he took a second-place finish in the final race of the meeting. Can we see a little bit more consistency from Mr Walker in the arena tonight? And we know he's certainly capable of taking a race win. And those race wins, well, they've been completely gobbled up by just two riders this year. We've had nine races, four of them have been won by this man, the legend of Super Enduro, six-time world champion, second in the overall standings, Taddy Blazuziak. Oh, and this stadium has just gone a little bit loud. The volume has just gone up a few notches. Certainly popular here. No one has won more races, more titles than Taddy Blazuziak. It's been a few years, though, since he last landed the Super Enduro crown. And this year, it could be this man. He has five race wins to his name. He has the red plate. He's on the Husqvarna. He is yet to win a Super Enduro World Championship. Is this going to be his year? Here comes Billy Bolt, not as big a cheer as Tadej Lezuziak received. That may change if he puts the performances in tonight that we know he's capable of. Two very different riders, Billy Bolt, very gutsy, all-out action. Tadej Lezuziak, more methodical, more calculated, but still very fast. So there are our nine riders. So next we'll be taking a look at the track.